There's not one authentic picture of this oblate, pear-shaped spinning ball that they claim we live on. I'm sorry to tell you, the only thing that's been to space is your imagination. There is no such thing as space. For thousands of years, all ancient civilizations knew the Earth was flat. Until 500 years ago, they took the Word of God and they turned it upside down. They said, no, we revolve around the sun. The sun's in the middle and we're, we're spinning through space and wobbling with the sun at over 600,000 miles per hour. When an organization of pseudoscientists tell me to go completely against what all my senses tell me, that we're stationary and flat, I see it, it's it's flat, it's immovable, and I'll go outside when I send a camera without GoPro or fisheye lens. When I send a, a, a balloon up a hundred thousand feet and it shows the horizon flat, I can't go against that. When I see skyline 60 to a hundred miles away, when spherical geometry says they should be behind the, the curve. All this stuff isn't adding up. It's by far the most uh, valuable, important place left. Strangely enough, there is left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. What's the tremendous... We've found enough coal within 180 miles of the South Pole in a great uh, ridge of mountain that's not covered with snow, enough to supply the whole world for quite a while. Well, uh, that's, that's the coal. Now, there's evidence of uh, other, many other minerals. Uh, we are pretty sure there's oil. Now, that coal. So, uh, we think there's oil there, and there's evidence of the uranium. say in every constellation are at all at different depths by millions of light years how come for thousands and thousands and thousands of years of hurtling through the sky there is no distortion no difference in luminosity of stars we're supposed to be flying at breakneck 
speeds through the galaxy, and yet the same boring stars keep turning over our flat, stationary, plain Earth forever and ever and ever and ever. So we are not moving. We're supposed to be travelling at, get this number in your head, 66,600 mile an hour, 666. That's how fast the Earth is orbiting. If you are broke, that's what you are. You are stupid. Stupid beyond your wildest imagination. That's why we have a horizon, because it's horizontal. That's why we have sea level, because the sea is level. It's not curving. You cannot call it sea level. You will call it sea curve. That's why we have tectonic plates and not tectonic bowls, because those tectonic plates are just that, flat plates. Check out the Suez Canal, 120 miles, no curvature. It never overflows, it never drains.